how to manage your money like the 1%, the 75, 15, 10 rule. Have you ever wondered how the ultra wealthy manage their money? What's their secret to building massive wealth even in tough economic times? Well, today I'm going to reveal the simple yet powerful 75, 15, 10 rule that I use to grow my own personal wealth and the wealth of my children. Let me ask you this. Do you know where every penny of your salary goes each month? If you're like most people, the answer is probably no. We work hard for our money, but then it just seems to slip through our fingers. The bills get paid, a few other things get bought, and suddenly it's gone. Sound familiar? Well, the wealthy have a different approach. They treat their money like a business with a clear plan for how they allocate it. At the heart of that plan is the 75-15-10 rule. It's a simple framework that ensures you're spending wisely saving diligently and investing strategically. In this video, I'll be going into more detail for each one of these categories and how exactly it works. Later on in the video, I'll go into a lot more detail for each one of these categories and tell you exactly how it works. Now, I know what you might be thinking, but I don't have enough money to save or invest. Well, that's exactly what the wealthy thought when they were starting out too. The key is to start small, but be consistent. Even if it's just 50 pounds a month into investments or 25 pounds a month into savings, it adds up over time thanks to the power of compound interest, which I'll expand on more in a sec. In fact, the wealthy are so disciplined about this 17, 15, 10 rule, they actually have separate bank or investment accounts for each category. That way, the money for investing and saving is out of sight, out of mind. It's automatically transferred before they even see it. So if you're ready to start building real wealth, instead of living paycheck to paycheck, then you need to learn this rule. It is the foundation that the rich use to grow their fortunes. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly how to implement it step by step. We'll cover how to analyze your current spending to see where you can cut back, the best places to invest for maximum growth, how to build an emergency fund that actually gives you peace of mind and much more. So get ready to learn the secrets of the wealthy because after today, you're going to be managing your money like the 1%. Let's get started. The 75, 15, 10 rule is a simple yet powerful framework for managing your money like the wealthy. It involves allocating your income into three categories, 75% for essential expenses, 15% for investing and 10% for savings. By following this rule, you can ensure that you're spending wisely, saving diligently and investing strategically to build long-term wealth. So here's how it works. 75% for essential expenses. So if you think about housing, there's rent, mortgage, utility bills, maintenance and repairs. Now onto food, like weekly shopping, takeaways and eating out. Then there's transport and getting around. So whether it's public transport costs, car payments, petrol insurance, and we need to factor in health costs. So that could be gym membership, therapy, vitamins and supplements. And then lastly, there's minimum debt payments. However, the catch is to look for ways to optimize these expenses and find cheaper alternatives where possible. For example, you could refinance your mortgage to get a lower rate, cook more meals at home to save on eating out, buy nearly new cars instead of straight out of the showroom to avoid depreciation, and where possible negotiate on bills and subscriptions to lower monthly costs. 15% for investing. So this covers pension payments, either workplace or private, trading accounts like Trading212 or eToro, investment into property or land, and things like venture capital trusts or index funds. The wealthy know the key to building long-term wealth is investing consistently. Even if you start small the power of compound interest will make your money grow over time. For example, if you invest just £100 a month in an account earning 8% annually, after 30 years, you'd have over £150,000. That's the magic of compound growth. Some of the world's richest people like Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk have amassed their fortunes primarily through investing. The wealthy have practiced living well below their means and plowing most of their income into assets that appreciate over time. And then 10% for savings is broken down into having an emergency fund of three to 12 months worth of basic living expenses, short-term saving goals like a car, holidays, or things like weddings and big birthdays, and then a rainy day fund to take care of any significant life challenges which might prevent you from being able to work or that might require a big payout. Having a healthy savings cushion is crucial for weathering unexpected expenses and life events. The wealthy know that having cash in hand provides peace of mind and flexibility. Billionaire Mark Cuban keeps a large portion of his net worth in cash for this very reason. In this context, he says cash is king and equity is a dream, meaning having easy access to cash is more valuable than owning assets. How to implement 
the 75-15-10 rule. To put this rule into practice, here are six important steps you need to follow. Number one, analyze your current spending to see where your money's going. Track your expenses for a month to get a clear picture. Number two, open three separate bank accounts, one for spending, one for investing, and one for savings. Automate transfers so the money goes out each month automatically. Number three, adjust your spending to get it under the 75% threshold. Look for areas where you can cut back and optimize expenses. Number four, invest your 15% consistently into a diversified portfolio of stocks, high interest savings accounts, pensions and index funds, and property. Aim to max out those pension accounts if possible. For directors of their own companies in the UK, that's up to £60,000 per annum. Number five, build up your savings to cover three to 12 months of expenses. Once you hit your target, you can invest any additional savings. Number six, review and adjust your plan on a regular basis because your income and expenses change over time. The key is to be consistent and persistent. By allocating your income into spending, investing, and savings buckets, you can build wealth steadily over time. The only goal you should have when beginning is to start small, be consistent, and let the power of compound growth work in your favor. Even if you can't max out each category right away, any small amount you can invest or save will pay dividends down the road. And that's a wrap on the 75-15-10 rule for managing your money like the wealthy. The takeaway? Well, it's all about balance, discipline, and consistency. By allocating your income into spending, investing, and savings buckets, you can build wealth steadily over time. Remember, success isn't about overnight riches. It's about making smart choices day in, day out. With the 75-15-10 rule as your guide, you can optimize your spending, grow your investments, and build a solid foundation. So, as you begin on your journey to financial freedom, keep these words from billionaire Warren Buffett close. Do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving. That's all for now. Ultra and out.